All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to another raw vlog here on the Andy Japandi channel. Um, and today, um, before I go to bed here tonight, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some things that I'm feeling as of late. So, as you guys know, the date for my uh, departure out to Japan is fast approaching. And, uh, yeah, things are getting real, real up in here, let me tell you. So, um, it's one of those things where, you know, I think when the date was further away, when it was, like, weeks and months away, it didn't really affect me as much, because I was like, yeah, I'm excited. But then it's like, you know, if you're going to go off the high dive you know you're excited for the build-up like yeah we're gonna go off the high dive and you know you get to the ladder and you're like yeah i'm gonna do it and then you get halfway up and you're like well it's kind of high but all right let's do it and then you get like right to where you start to step on the board and it's like oh shit <laughs> you know and i'm kind of at that point right now i'm kind of at the oh shit point um where it's just starting to get a little scary and I'll admit, you know, today I've been uh, fighting off uh, some internal panic as far as that stuff goes. But, uh, you know, just doing a lot of defeatist thinking, you know, like uh, a lot of stuff just kind of starts racing in my head, mostly involving money. Like, will I have enough money to survive? What will happen if this, that, and the other doesn't happen? And, you know, all this other stuff. And, uh, you know, I just told myself, you know, I, as soon as I get back to Japan, I'm going to find work as fast as I can. And so I'm not relying on savings as much. And then once the GI Bill starts kicking in like it normally does, then uh, we'll go from there. You know, just I was I, I'm always able to somehow find a way past things. Um, so I just need to learn to, to trust myself and to trust the process a lot more. And, you know, there's times where even I forget about that, you know, and I'm just, you know, sitting here shaking, like, what am I going to do? What if I run out of money and where am I going to sleep and how am I going to eat and all this other stuff? And, you know, you just gotta like tell yourself that there, there's always, there's always a way always a way whether it's going to get like discount foods at the convenience or you know maybe skipping breakfast or something like that if you really need to um you know riding the bike to uh to school and stuff instead of taking the bus the train and whatnot you know there's there's always a way you know you just gotta gotta learn to find it so yeah, like I said, shit's getting real, real right about now. So I'm just getting all kinds of nervous about it. But, you know, that's it's also a good thing to be nervous, you know, about these sorts of things. Because that means that it's like real change is going to happen. You know, I felt the same way uh, when I came out here, uh, when I moved out here a little over a year ago. So I can... Uh, you know, work on getting myself back to Japan, you know, saving up and uh, getting good grades in school and all this other stuff. And, uh, you know, I felt that same tinge of nervousness come over me of like, is the, everything going to be okay? And, you know, will I be able to find work? You know, will I be able to make this, this whole thing work? So... Yeah, I just want I just wanted to share that with you guys because I I know there's uh, there's a lot of people out there who are thinking of coming to Japan or going elsewhere around the world or thinking about making that big change, you know, doing the thing, uh, going after something or whatever the case, and they just need that little bit of encouragement. And uh, <laughs> to whoever's watching, I do want to offer. Uh, that encouragement, you know, because I think that, you know, as, uh, as optimistic as I am, you know, if I think if I can do it, anybody can do it, you know, 
Um, and I said that even when I joined the Navy, when I went out to Japan, you know, applying for colleges after I got out and all this other stuff, you know, I was just doing a lot of thinking of what I've done this past decade, even. And the crazy thing is I have it all recorded, you know, I have my life th this past 10 plus years recorded on YouTube so I can go back and look at those those moments and see where I was at that point in time and that to me is just the greatest thing of all as far as doing YouTube goes you know it's not about the money or the fame or and you know any of that stuff I mean that, that those things are nice but to me at the end of the day you know if, if nothing comes of me making Japan vlogs or freelance work or any of this other stuff if nothing comes of it at least at the end of the day I can look back on that large period of time in my life and be like yep that's what I was doing in my 20s and 30s so you know <laughs> I can see how young I look and how thin I look and all this other stuff and see the transformation and you know just look back and smile if anything but I'm getting a little off topic here so uh yeah Point being, uh, I was just feeling really freaking nervous today and just want to share that with you guys because I know that um, once things start getting real, you know, if you're making a big change in your life, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that definitely feel that, that tinge of nervousness and that's normal and that's okay. And as all things do, all things will pass because... You know, I'm sure when you first moved to wherever you're living now, you felt nervous, right? You're wondering if, you know, something's going to break along the way or are you going to be able to get there in time? Are you going to be able to afford the place? Are you going to be able to find a job if you didn't have a job on hand? You know, are you going to be able to make it? But uh, here you are sitting here. Watch my video. You made it. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I'm just going to drink my uh, late night tea, uh, watch this Casey Neistat Guide to Life before heading to bed. So with that said, guys, this is Andy San. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you. Yep, oh, let me try it again. <laughs> we'll see you. There we go. <laughs> Next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. And uh, let me know in the comments down below um, what things that you're afraid of right now as far as like big life changes and stuff like that i'd like to know so let me know <laughs> all right bye guys <laughs>